Today, I am going to talk about a topic that not enough people talk about in my country, India. A topic that is not shown the importance that it needs to be shown. A topic that we need to open our eyes and notice. This is sustainability. I will begin by telling you how a trip eventually led to me realizing the importance of this issue. In the month of August last year, I stepped into the Zurich airport with fascination and wonder in my eyes. A bus trip would take me to my destination in the south of Germany, where I would visit a language camp for the next three weeks. Naturally, I had expected to learn a lot about the German language and culture and meet different people from all across the world. But along this trip, I learned a lot of things that I didn't expect. Things that made me change my outlook. I saw people living a completely different lifestyle. Things that were the norm for them were outright shocking to me. There are many interesting conclusions that I came to after this trip that I could talk about. But what I would really like to talk about is sustainability. In Germany, sustainability was seamlessly incorporated into their lifestyle. This was a small observation that I made during the trip. It didn't lead to a huge impactful moment that ignited a burning desire to save the world in me. But it was something that subconsciously stuck to me. A small, simple observation that I later realized had invariably altered my life and my mind. When I look back, I recall one memory related to this. So our camp had a small store called Bioladen which primarily sold organic snacks. Here they were selling some sort of healthy flavoured soda which I eagerly bought and tried. The glass bottles in which the soda was sold were returnable. Upon returning the bottle, you would get half of your money back. I remember carrying the glass bottle in my bag for three whole days. I kept forgetting to return it before the store closed and the frugal Indian in me wouldn't let me throw that bottle away. Honestly, at that point of time, I wasn't very concerned about how I would make the process of recycling less efficient if I didn't dispose the bottle correctly. My sole motivation was that I wanted half of my money back. But now I wonder. Why is it so natural for us to ignore the more sustainable path? Why is it normal for us to live a life in which we don't bother caring for the planet? Why is it that the Germans seem to meticulously segregate and recycle their waste but I didn't? Why can't I see the same consideration for our planet when I'm in India? What is stopping us? Are we somehow less responsible for our planet than the people of Germany? All these questions now plague me whenever I retrospect upon my attitude. India ranks 168th out of 180 countries in the 2020 Environmental Performance Index or EPI according to researchers at Yale and Columbia Universities. Moreover, an analysis done by the Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru, shows that in the Urban Sustainability Index, Mumbai and Bengaluru have the least sustainable urban systems. Clearly, we have a lot of catching up to do with several other countries. But before we think about how to solve the issue, we need to reflect upon the reasons for the existence of this issue. The first simple reason that comes to my mind is the lack of awareness. India is a developing country and is faced with so many other issues like poverty and inequality and in this process we don't really consider living sustainably to be a top priority. Most people are not aware of its importance. In fact, they are nonchalant about harming the environment and just want to survive. They already have enough on their plates without having to care for the environment too. However, this is precisely where the problem lies. The idea of living an environmentally friendly life should be made commonplace. It should be the norm. It should be inextricably ingrained into our lifestyles. When we walk down the streets, there should be separate dustbins for different types of waste. Every society should encourage recycling. Innovations to save resources and implement and introduce sustainable energy sources should be introduced into our society. But I'm not here to talk about what our society can do to make us live sustainably. There is so much about that topic that even I need to learn. What I want to say is that we could come up with numerous innovations and inventions and implement them too. Our government could hypothetically do everything in its power, but we won't reach our goal unless we change our mindset. My experiences have led to reflections that have caused me to change my perspective 
and I believe that all of us here should do that too. It is impossible to bring about change without changing ourselves. We want to change things because we realize that the way things were before is incorrect. We realize that the way we used to see things is incorrect. So the first step is to change the way we see things and the way we do things. In the matter of sustainability, it won't be as natural for us initially. But we must do everything in a manner that is environmentally friendly. Whenever you buy a packet of chips, fold away the empty packet and dispose it at home. Whenever you go to a nearby place, walk or cycle, don't take the car. Whenever you leave the room, switch off the lights and fans. And I'm sure this one would save us a lot of the long electricity bill lectures we get from our parents. So it's basically the small daily things that you do that you'll have to change at first and then slowly it will become second nature to you. Not all of us have to do big grand things like protesting to save the environment. Every small action takes us one step closer to becoming an environmentally responsible citizen. A small action might not seem that helpful. But when more people out of huge populations like those in India start implementing these small actions, the change we can bring about is unbelievably huge. After all, we must be the change we wish to see in the world, right? Thank you.